Hello, thanks for tuning in. My name is Nasneen Rahman. I'm a London-based singer-songwriter and I wanted to tell you a little bit about me and my songs and my new album, which is called I'm Too Old to Die Young. I've sung and written songs all my life, but I only started sharing music about six or seven years ago, first with an EP of jazz standards called My Funny Valentine. I love singing jazz standards. They've taught me so much about music and life. But I wanted to sing my, my own songs. I, I sing about life, about being human, about the magical and the mundane, bittersweet songs that I hope feel real and honest, like late night conversations you have with true friends. I released my first original album in 2014. It's called Can't Clip My Wings and it's centered on change, making changes, suffering changes, coping, not coping with change. Then in 2017, I released Answers No Questions, which is centered on choice and the complexity of choice. We all struggle with choices, don't we? We all want more answers. And then my new album, I'm Too Old to Die Young, which came out last week. I think it's, it's, it's about chances. It's asking, do we make the most of our chances? And together, these three albums about changes, choices and chances make the Bittersweet Trilogy. So I'm Too Old to Die Young, it sort of reflects on the universal questions of what do we live for? What is really important to us? How will we be remembered? And as we get older, as time slips through our fingers, we find ourselves thinking more about these questions. The album is also a musical love letter to the sophisticated pop that I grew up with, Sade, Roxy Music, Kate Bush, still with jazz influences and, and also electronic touches. I really hope you like it. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the 10 songs on the album. The first song is called Split Second. I wrote it on March the 22nd, 2017. I remember it so exactly because it was a very unusual day. It was a day of a terrorist attack at the seat of the UK government. I happened to be there that day and I wrote the song as we waited for hours and hours until it was safe to go home. In such events they, they remind us of the fragility of life, how everything can change in an instant. And they also, they also remind us to cherish, to cherish what's really important to us, to recognise what's important to us. So split second always reminds me to cherish and I, I hope it reminds you to do that too. The second track is called Midlife Musings and it's also the single from the album and it seems to resonate with people of all ages. And it's a song for those moments when you look in the mirror and wonder, am I living the life I want to live? We're all rushing to stand still we all dream of what we will do when things ease up, when we have more time or money. But tomorrow never comes. We have to live our dreams today. So Midlife Musings is a song of encouragement, steely encouragement, to dream over, start over, do what you need to do to live the life you are meant to live. You can do it. The third song is called Did You Sleep Well? It's for those nights when you wake up in the middle of the night worrying about all you did and didn't do, all the things you wished you'd said or hadn't said, going round and round in circles. I don't know why we do this, but we all do. We know it's futile. We know it won't help. I don't have a miracle cure, but music brings me calm. And when I make music, I'm in the zone, just totally focused on just that. I get lost in it, and it nourishes me. So Did You Sleep Well reminds me to get over myself, to forget about the pettiness of today, 
and keep my eyes and heart on what's really important. Fourth song is called Ain't No Love Like This. It is a love song, but a little bit different. There are so many songs about love, but so few about parental love. And this is a song about the pains and pleasures of parenthood. I've had the chance to do so many things in my life that are rewarding and fun and useful, but being a parent has been my most fulfilling role. Not that it's always easy, as I'm sure many of you recognise. But I also find that challenge and sacrifice are key to true fulfilment, don't you think? The fifth song is called Can I Be Saved? It's about hope and hopelessness. We all need hope. When we feel hopeless, life unravels fast and we can cycle into despair. And often it is our loved ones that help us back. And it's hard on them to see us hurting, to want to see ourselves through their eyes. So Can I Be Saved is a song for those in need of saving and those that save. And of course, most of us have been both. The sixth song is called Done Undone. Relationships are hard. No insights there. We all know this to be true. But one of the benefits of getting older is that we've seen things from both sides. We've all messed up. We've all sinned and been sinned against. We've all needed to ask for forgiveness. We all know it's easier to ask for than to forgive. But we have to know how to forgive, truly forgive. It's easy to win arguments, but the cost of victory can be very high. Done Undone is the story of a pivotal moment in a relationship when a couple have to decide if they will forgive each other and continue their journey together or not. The seventh song is called On the Road Again. All of us have areas of our lives where we feel like an outsider. It hurts. It feels unfair like we have no way to change it. Being an ethnic minority can feel like this. Today's world is not very welcoming, even if you were born in the country where you are a minority and know no other home. On the Road Again is a song of solidarity with all people who feel outsiders and a reminder that we have to live by and stand up for our values to make the world a world that we want to see. The eighth song is called Fake News. It would be easy to assume fake news is a modern problem, but it has always been with us, and not only from governments and corporations. We all are peddlers of our own self-serving versions of the truth, particularly in relationship breakdowns. As we get older, we realise so little is black and white. And this helps us to be more understanding, more pragmatic. Or at least that should be our aim. And I hope fake news reminds us to be more understanding and open to other viewpoints. The ninth song is called Calling All the Shots. It's never been easier to have a voice. We can share our opinions effortlessly. But it takes courage because it's brutal out there. If you put your head above the parrot, it will get. If you put your head above the parapet, it will get hammered. But we have to do it because doing nothing is still a stand. We can't just do nothing. We have to be courageous. We have to stand up for what we believe in. If we do, we will find others that share our vision for the world, and together we can make a difference. The whisper of crowds is heard. The last song on the album is the title track, I'm Too Old to Die Young. There is a quote from Anne Landers that I love. It goes like this. At age 20, we worry about what others think of us. At age 40, we don't care what they think of us. At age 60, we discover they haven't been thinking of us at all. 
A gift of ageing is moving from living a life dictated by external opinions and circumstances to a life driven by what we think, based on understanding and acceptance of our strengths and weaknesses. We are human, we are mortal, and it's fine. Because if you are too old to die young, you are one of the lucky ones, and every day is a gift. This last song is a jubilant, brassy, in-your-face, I'm living my life, deal with it song. I turn to it in moments of celebration or doubt. It always lifts me, and I hope that it lifts you. Thanks, thanks so much for listening and coming on this journey with me. I, I hope you'll go and now listen to the album. You can find it anywhere. Um, or from my website, nazneenrahman.com. And reach out and email me or find me on Facebook and, and tell me what the songs say to you. I'd love to hear from you.